Hello and welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. I actually am at a hotel in uh, Arizona, just spoke at a conference last night and getting ready to go meet with a client. And so kind of in a bit of a hurry, I'm going to do the video quickly. Um, we've done a, a pretty full Dividend Cafe podcast this week. Uh, we have a special edition of our Advice and Insights podcast focusing on stock buybacks. There are... Um, uh, a couple different article. There's an article at marketepicurean.com that went up about the anniversary of fracking and the shale revolution and things like that. Um, and of course, the dividendcafe.com, which comes out each and every week, and what I'm going to give you a little replay of right now. But uh, that written market commentary this week actually has five different charts in it. You usually, we'll have maybe one or two, sometimes three charts. But once you get into five different charts, it becomes really hard for me to kind of capture that either in the podcast or video form. So that's why I really want to encourage you to check out the actual written commentary where you get the visual aid of those beautiful charts. In a nutshell, this week, the market's up again. We're getting very close to the S&P getting back to its highs from early January. We're not quite there yet. Um the market is responding primarily to continued really strong earnings and revenue growth, and the market is not uh, reacting negatively to continued tariffs and retaliatory tariffs and things like that taking place between the U.S. and China. We've talked ad nauseum about why that may be. I think fundamentally, 23 24% year-over-year earnings growth is a pretty clear indicator of why markets are performing well. And even apart from the tax relief side of it, which I don't really know why anyone would feel the need to carve that out, tax reform is a real thing and it's not going anywhere. But um, revenue growth is up 9.2% year-over-year. It's just a stunning number and it certainly helps provide – uh, backdrop as to why uh, markets have performed as they have. And I think it, it provides rationale for continued optimism, maybe cautiously so, in the market. So I'm going to leave it there about the state of market optimism. What I will encourage you to do is look at where CapEx plays into that. Look at the 25% growth in capital expenditures, the 10% growth year-to-date in business investment, to understand why we think the possible exist of a continued innings in this bull market we've been in. That is the thesis. If that thesis were undermined, I think it changes our position about the shorter intermediate outlook for markets. But at this point, that becomes what we believe. And we believe it more around value-oriented uh, areas of the market. We think that a lot of the high growth space is vulnerable to rising interest rates, and we think it also is just simply had most of its return priced in already, wouldn't dare to time that, but we're speaking to where better investment opportunity lies, we have a lot of confidence in that in that perspective. Um, there is a really interesting chart of the week this week at Dividend Cafe about the U.S. household leverage. The, a lot of people are fearful that the U.S. consumer households are leveraging up and taking on more debt. The fact of the matter is that leverage ratios for households right now are at 40-year lows. Debt is indeed higher, but remember, leverage is debt divided by assets, and the total net worth has increased so much that debt divided by net worth is at a very, very low level. It's the households since the financial crisis that have largely been deleveraging. It's the government that is not, that has levered up its balance sheet. And I think it's very important for investors, not to mention citizens, of course, to understand those distinctions and, and get very comfortable with what it all represents. So that's a lot of the meat on the bone that exists at Dividend Cafe this week. That's a lot of what's going through our mind now. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I'm sorry it's a little shorter version. I didn't cheat the podcast listeners as much. We actually have two very meaty podcasts that we've recorded this week. And uh, I think one of the better Dividend Cafes um, in terms of our written commentary uh, that we've had all year. So. Um, hopefully you'll be prompted to go to some of those other mediums, but you know, ran out of time. What can I say? Thanks so much for listening. We'll look forward to coming back to you again next week. Take care.